Hey everybody, it's Sheila with Designs by Baby Moon, and I wanted to show you how you can add lettering to a working file in the Express Mode in the Embrilliance Embroidery software. Uh, many of you have just the Express Mode because you haven't yet uh, uh, ventured into the bigger uh, software version that it, it, Embrilliance offers called Essentials or Enthusiasts or even the digitizing part. So if you're only running the Express Mode, you can add lettering and make monograms and words with BX format fonts, which is really fun. But if you wanted to make a complete project, like an in-the-hoop tag, you'll need a BE file, the working file, to add that to. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the Express Mode in Embrilliance and with uh, working files that you can find in the Designs by Baby Moon Facebook group. So what you'll do first is you'll go to the Designs by Baby Moon Facebook group and you'll find this post that says the Designs by Baby Moon free shape tags in the BE format and that's a zip file. So you'll download that from Dropbox. Um, you don't need Dropbox to do it. it. I just put it in my Dropbox for you, um, but you can download it straight to there from your computer wherever you have embroidery files open, and then you'll go to your Embrilliance Express, and you'll open up, uh, you'll unzip those, and you can open up a file. So what I've got right here is the rectangle version. In that zipped file, you'll find a circle tag, an octagon-shaped tag, and the rectangle tag. And so let's add some lettering to that. So in Embrilliance Express, you may have already added some BX style fonts which you just drag from your computer up into the program and then it automatically installs those and then you can treat those as lettering. So in this tag you'll want a half inch or a three quarter inch uh, font and so I have several to choose from in here in the ones that I've purchased before. And let's pick um, something, something sweet. So let's pick this Marnie font and let's type in uh, what we want this. So suppose you're going to make a tag for um, one of your, uh, let's make a tag for a, a grandma uh, because Mother's Day is coming up and it would be sweet to have a grandma tag. So you'll type that into the lettering box, you'll click set, and there you have the word grandma. Now in, in, um, in Brilliance you can stretch that out a little bit. We're going to need to rotate that so that it fits nicely in this tag and we're going to try to make sure that we've lined it up and then we can move the whole thing so that it fits right into our box and then in Embrilliance Express you'll click file and then you'll you only get to save working files so I have other versions of Embrilliance and so you'll just want to save um, you can save your stitch file now but you can't merge another stitch file but you can save your stitch file now as a PES file so we could save this and I'll just save it in here and we're going to call this the grandma tag. Um, and then what you would do, it, um, and you pick the design, the format for your embroidery machine. Um, I use PES and EXP uh, formats for mine and so I would save it as a PES and then I would save it there and then or save it on my USB drive and then take it over and stitch it out. And what you'll see on this design, what you have um, are a couple of different things. You have the um, you'll look over in the side in the object window and you'll see that you have the design and then the lettering last. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to run the elements of your design, which is a placement stitch, and then this inner border right here that, that sews up next. And then um, before you sew the last two steps, which is the outer border and the tab, you'll actually skip on your machine over that step and go to your lettering and let it sew your lettering out first. Then you'll take the hoop off the machine and put a backing on your hoop and maybe you like to use sticky spray or maybe you just like to tape on your backing. Some people use felt or another piece of a upholstery vinyl or pleather. Um, you would apply that after you've stitched the lettering so that the last step, the final rectangle around the lettering and the tab will stitch last catching that back piece and then enclosing any raw stitches inside the tag so that they're not loose on there. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you have a chance uh, let me know how that works. Leave me some feedback and I hope that you guys are able to make some beautiful things. Thanks for watching.